Hey everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I use Anki and how you can set it up on your laptop. So let's jump into the screen recording. Okay, so now we are on our laptop and you can open Google and just type uh, r slash yeah, medical school Anki and that's how that's how famous it really is. You just type medical school Anki and you get it. Uh, you open the first link on Reddit and you scroll down to here. Step one. And this is the deck that I'm using right now. It's called the Anking Overhaul deck. And you just uh, click on it. And then you scroll back down. And just keep scrolling down till you can find. Okay, so you go down here and you click on download here. And it takes you to the updated version. And then you scroll back to download the deck. And hopefully you get the link. Yeah. So you can just download it by clicking on download. And set it up on Anki. And the other deck that I want you guys to download is the... Uh, Duke Patoma deck which is right which is right here in the single subjects and you download it the same way and then look for the download link that's right and again same download it and open it on Anki And yeah, so now I have my Anki screen right here on the recording and you can see that I have certain topics uh, on the deck and the way you do it is by clicking on browse and here you can select all the decks uh, with their topics and you can see all the tags here like um, the step one deck and then it has all the tags like first aid, NBME, osmosis, pathoma, physio, picturize, sketchy farm, sketchy biochem, sketchy micro, your world and uh, the thing that I want you guys to do is go to the system tags and here you can select it uh, by each system and so the way you make a new deck is by just clicking on the system of the deck you want and then just selecting all the cards like that so all the cards are selected and then you press command D on, on the Mac or you can just use the edit button and uh, make a new deck and then you put add deck and then you rename the deck I'm just gonna name it as psychiatry And okay and you can shut this and then when you go back to your decks you can see psychiatry here which wasn't there before and another way by which you can create decks is by uh, going through separate keywords like um, Like for in Neuro, you can make a deck of just all the tags with your or in Psychiatry, you can just use Psychology or in Renal, you can just use the Anatomy part or just the Embryology part and just practice those sections individually. The next thing that you can do is by uh, adding the sketchy decks like the 
catchy micro deck yeah right here you can add uh, bacteria decks separately the fungi decks separately and the best part is that it has the sketch along with the uh, angie flash card and you can see how extensive this is just by seeing the number of cards in the step one deck which are like 29,000 and probably more if you're doing it after uh, a long time and like Pathoma has 7,500 deck cards and the next section was the dupe cards and they are basically just the Pathoma cards and they are arranged uh, chapter wise and you can select them separately just like how we did the previous decks or you can just add the whole Pathoma deck together and start solving all the decks randomly and again if you want a deck for just um, like CNS you select all the cards that are there in CNS and then press command D so that you can add it to a new deck and you can call it uh, maybe Pathoma CNS and okay and then when you go back to your decks you can see Pathoma CNS has been added and so what this interface shows is that I have five new cards every day that I need to do and these are the due cards that I have which I need to complete and you can change the amount of uh, cards that you want to do by uh, changing the daily limits from the options section and you can select it to how much ever you want but when you're starting I would say uh, you can start with 20 or 30 cards every day but when you're doing a lot of cards after a long time then you can select the cards and keep it to uh, like 5 or 10 cards because you will have to review a lot of cards together if you've started with a lot of cards before so learning less number of cards later on would be better and yeah this is like a heat map it shows that I have uh, done my Anki cards almost every day I just didn't do it on one day because I was traveling and I couldn't do it and it helps keep all the active recall items in check there's a lot of information that is just impossible for me to learn and recall without using Anki and it's such information like uh, which type of mutation and which type of gene is affected and which type of protein is affected in which disease and it's such minute topics that you think you remember but you don't and uh, they could be a question and you probably would know it if you've solved the Anki card for it. And I hope you guys learned how to make your Anki decks from the pre-made decks. And I would not suggest you guys to make your own deck because it would take a lot of time. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked this one. And if you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one.